We've also learned about half of the required repairs at Red Hill before tank defueling can begin are now complete. That is according to an update from the military as of April 1st. 253 repairs are needed in all. 129 are reportedly complete. Defueling the tanks is expected to be completed in mid-2024. Another step in the process is set to start April 17th. It's called dewatering. Dewatering in this case is the process separating water from the fuel and is essential to corrosion prevention. Because the Red Hill fuel tanks vent into the atmosphere, condensation accumulates resulting in water sinking to the bottom of the tanks. The water is removed through the tank's bottom drain where it is constantly monitored through a sight glass so operators will know when the dewatering process is complete. Now, I just wanted to reiterate what I said at the top because I may have been confusing. The IRS will not tax reimbursements for those people who racked up bills. All right, so a couple of other updates as far as the drainage. Uh, response drill is scheduled to be held tomorrow. A new dashboard has been created online for people trying to track the defilling process. And we're still waiting for the results of the investigation into the toxic firefighting foam spill. Military officials pledged to release video once the investigation is complete. On Molokai, the Real Property Assessment Office in Kaunakakai will be closed for the remainder of the week. Officials say a staffing shortage at the Mitchell Paole Center office is forcing that move. In the meantime, taxpayers can log on to MauiPropertyTax.com for more information. The office should reopen on Monday at 8 a.m. Maui County wants to hear from the community on a new skate park on Lanai. The community meeting is going to be held next week, Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Halikupuna O Lanai in Lanai City. The final design for the park will be presented there. The County Department of Parks and Recreation will be taking comments and feedback as well. Scientists say phototherapy or exposure to bright light could help lessen the symptoms of dementia. Researchers examined a dozen clinical trials. They found while phototherapy improved cognitive functions in dementia patients, it did not lessen symptoms of sleep quality or depression. An ultrasound is found to be an effective method to diagnose breast pain among patients who reported specific complaints. A study published in the journal Radiology looked at around 2,000 women with breast complaints. They found 90% of them received an accurate diagnosis of their issues with just an ultrasound. In the upper 70s for Hilo, into the mid 80s for some spots. A little bit breezy for you in Maui County at 86 degrees. And over the next seven days, trade winds are going to be with us. A few more showers for Saturday and Sunday, and then stronger trades to begin the upcoming week. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.